didn't personally adopt my pet. I didn't really like know much about it. But I'm glad. Like I have my little puppy. Um, that's him, Tito, and Carlos. Um, but, um, like what I didn't know personally, and most of you guys don't know, like, like 8 million pets will go each year in the shelter, and pretty much most of them won't even find a home. Like, they just get um, euthanized, and pretty much, you know, like 11,000 of them, we get euthanized about every day. And mostly, we're the ones that are paying for them to get euthanized, the taxpayers are. So, um, why would you should adopt a pet? You're saving a life, you're giving them a second chance, and it's just like, they get so happy to see you. Like every time I come home, my little puppy just like greets me. And he's just going crazy because we've left him alone for so long. Like, there's no one at the house. Anymore. But this is my friend Denise's cat, and I know she adopted both of the cats that she has. But um, this is her quote that she says, just like giving them another chance to be loved and feel wanted by someone because obviously they were given away because they didn't have time for them or they just didn't want them anymore. And what you didn't know that most of the pets are put in the, in, in the shelters just because they have poor like, health issues. Um, I didn't know, like, you have to get like the raving shot. They, they have so much stuff, but um, if you do like um, get a pet from a shelter, they come with most of like all their shots, their their neuter and everything. But me, how I had to buy him, he I got him when he was like two months. So I went immediately to PetSmart and they had. Um, but like I had him. Was it Banfield? Banfield, yeah. And so, like, I didn't, it, I put him under an insurance, so pretty much everything's paid for, but each month I have to pay like 50 bucks, or like if he's ill, like, I pretty much just have to pay for that. Do you have the Petsmart insurance? Or is it you it's insurance the Banfield, oh, yeah. yeah, like, it's a Banfield insurance in there. It's called so the just, wellness plan. Uh -huh, right. The wellness plan, and then, like, in June, like, he'll get another one because he's older. Right. And then, because, like, right now, I'm dealing with him having both teeth, like his baby <coughs> tooth and his grown-up teeth in the top and the bottom. And I actually like knocked one of them out while we were playing. So that's, I guess, a good thing because I won't have to play. But, um, yeah, like it pretty much covers a lot of stuff unless they're like really sick and you, there's something special that they need to do for them. But they're, I mean, they're giving away because, I mean, they just don't have anyone to be there for them. And then, like I said, like, we're the ones that euthanize the pets because they don't find one. And then that's my friend's cat, which he was doing. <laughs> but like adopting a pet could be as cheap as like fifty to two hundred dollars, and then buying one could be um, can go all the time to put a thousand five hundred to like a thousand dollars. My my cousin actually sold me Tito for like three hundred bucks just because. I mean, it's family, so it was kind of cheap, but I know, I think she adopted Baloo and Macaroni for like 20 bucks or something like that, so I'm not sure, I can't remember. But, like, most of the pets there are treated, like, with spay, neuter, treatments, rabies, like, all this stuff I didn't have to pay for due because of the, because of Banfield, but there's, like, some charges, like, I do have to pay, and then... But I mean, he's really covered with that insurance, so it kind of helps either if you have, if you buy a pet or if you adopt one. And then, so yeah, they, that's him. <laughs> I like tossed him in the bed, and he just like stayed there. It's crazy. But yeah, they get adopted just because, like, I think the guy that sold him to my cousin just like had a bunch of them. Like you'll see, just owners just like selling them at a, like in the middle of the sh like in the corner or something, and it's just because they don't have room for the pets, and so they're just like they'll leave let the um, the pets like reproduce, but they don't give them a home. They so they're just selling them, or they'll just give them in, sh um, 
in the shelter, so that's why it's important to spay and neuter them. So if you see, you won't have that problem. Um, in conclusion, you should adopt a pet because it only it not only puts a smile on my face, but and like my family's um, face, but it also puts one on theirs. Like they get so happy to see us and stuff. And we were going through like a really tough time whenever we were moving and stuff. And then I want to say once he came into our life, we've just been like we have someone that's there for us. He protects us really well. Like in the tornado that happened in May, like he could tell like something was going on. So because he was like barking and barking, and he was like, you know, he could tell that something wrong was. Um, I mean, he's he's a little thing, but he he doesn't. Like, I'm not supposed to have a pet because like our landlord doesn't have like let us, but I'm hiding him. I, I don't want to let him go. Um, so. He doesn't interact with people, but like with us, he takes care of us like really well. And so I'm gonna show you some pictures. Of what kind is he? He's a Maltese. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, he's naked now because like I get to cut it. Not like completely, but it's just because like I put shirts on him, and that his hair is so mm -hmm. soft it gets not, he gets knots, but it will grow out. Mm -hmm. That's I think Aww. my friend's cat. And then that was a little Christmas. And I don't know if you can see him up there. <laughs> but he loved it. I thought he was going to be like freezing, but he was just like jumping around everywhere. I was like, oh my god. And that's me and him. You barely see him. And then I think that's her. Yeah. <laughs> but like there was one picture she showed me. He was just like laying there. And I don't know what that. That cat is so weird. He was like. Sticking his tongue out and like, she thinks it's a little boy in the cat's body, but I don't know. They just do so many weird things, and it's just like it puts you a smile and it just puts a smile on you, on your face, and they just really appreciate you. And I'm glad I have to you. So, I think so, but it was just like something that I don't really remember. It's been so long. And he gives you a discount. Yeah, it gives you a discount a lot. And then um, I know there is, because he's not in stitches, we give him a lot of human freedom. We, we, he just, he loves, like, he'll eat fruit and mango, like mango, and he'll eat, like, he got really 